Hello, we're going to make uh, a video here, and this video will show you how to run PuTTY software with Xming to get GUI displays from your Linux machine <coughs> excuse me, back to your Microsoft machine. <coughs> excuse me. Okay, what we're going to do first, uh, first you have to start an X server on your Microsoft machine. And in a previous video, we showed how to install Xming. Uh, you can just I have the desktop icon here. I could just install, click on the desktop icon. But I'm going to go down here to the programs directory and all programs, Xming uh, directory, and then click on Xming. And you'll see Xming appear down here in the lower right hand section of the taskbar. Uh, it's possible you don't see the X right here. You may have to click on the uh, thing that shows the hidden services. The services are running, but they just aren't being displayed down here. I noticed when I clicked on that, my little X went up there. So uh, you may have to click on this in order to see your X for the X Ming. Okay, now that has started an X server, and that's what we need to uh, interpret the X protocol language coming back. Next thing we're going to do is, again, I could click on the putty icon there. Um, but I'm going to go through the All Programs section. So I hit All Programs, hit PuTTY, and then I'll come down here and choose the PuTTY um, uh, option. And one thing you have to do, this is kind of a, not a trick, but something you have to be aware of. If you're going to use Xming and you want to uh, have X come back to your screen with GUIs, uh, you need to, uh, on the right-hand side here, come down and click on the uh, plus sign with SSH, come down here to X11, and make sure that box that says Enable X11 Forwarding, make sure that is checked. Okay? And then um, we're going to come back up here to Session, click on Session, and I'm going to go into a machine called Rock Hopper. Uh, let's see if I can spell it right. Okay, there I'm in a machine called Rock Hopper, and I'm going to go ahead and click Open. And then I'm going to go ahead and uh, type my ID that I have on the machine. I have an ID called Demo User, and then my password. Okay. Now, uh, I'm going to try and run something that should uh, bring a graphical screen back to my desk. Here's gedit. This is a kind of a notepad type of editor. Uh, let's try something else. This is a program I actually think is pretty cool called FreeMind. And it, this is a mind mapping tool. Uh, that you can use for, say, like writing papers or something like that. Um, and uh, uh, term paper. Okay, so this works. Okay, so this shows the uh, how to uh, use PuTTY and Xming to get a GUI back to your screen. Um, you can run all kinds of software with this, and uh, this is just going into a Linux machine. I'll type exit to leave, and sometimes actually when you run X11 and you type exit, it just kind of like hangs there a little bit, so uh, you can always just uh, uh, hit the little X here and that will close the session. Okay, I um, hope this was informational, and I hope you enjoyed it. Have fun uh, connecting into your Linux boxes.